And it's not just fans at Arrowhead who are disappointed. We're disappointed, too. I want to bring in KS and Sam Montero. Sam, you met some roommates who really do live in a house divided. I did, <laughs> Emily. Let me tell you, Old Town was packed with fans from all over the city. Many had high hopes for the Chiefs, but were let down once that final whistle blew. Well, except for one guy. You know, that was a tough loss. I mean, it sucks. The only guy who left Pump House with a smile was Carl Page, a Wichiton who has been a lifelong Bengals fan. It's kind of scary being out here, the only Bengals fan in a bar full of Chiefs fans, but I mean, Jesus Christ, it's wonderful. Adding to the drama, he's going home with his roommate, who happens to be a diehard Chiefs fan. Can I knock his hat off? No. Carl and Derry have been friends for 10 years. Honestly, I had no plans to come out here today, but he said, Carl, want to go to Pump House? Sure. So now we're sitting here, and my team took the dub, and I know that uh, he's probably going to fight me later. Derry says fighting won't be necessary. Although he's disappointed, he's now rooting for the Bengals in the Super Bowl. I'll take this loss because the Bengals are a good team. Back. I already knew if he, if he throw to Jamar Chase, Back. it's game over. But, Back. like, hey, it was a good game. Y'all better win. Y'all better win. As for next season, all I'm saying, Chiefs next year, let's go. Many Chiefs fans say this loss at Arrowhead Stadium was unexpected, and just like Derry, they have high hopes for next year. Here for you, San Montero, KSN News 3.